Hi, this is Alex from Vienna again. I want to present you my Winslow pipes. It's uh, nearly the same clip as I did in German language. Uh, I just stripped the uh, tobacco short reviews out of it uh, and my opinion about certain tobaccos. Uh, Paul Winslow for me is one of the greatest artists, uh, pipe makers in Europe. Um, I think he always has some new ideas. He's always ahead of all the others, um, especially in shapes and the uh, production of stem and mouthpiece and the piece between it. Uh, that's always new ideas. Um, new things to use uh, maybe it's plastic or it's uh, briar wood or metal it's just marvelous the first little pipe I want to show you is called Elliot it's a unfiltered pipe a small one it's named after his grandson Elliot see the slim stem here is definitely gorgeous nothing to say about uh, how to, to smoke it it's nice and cool um, I smoke um, most of the time uh, the uh, Sam Gareth Virginia tobaccos in it. Um, a little bit also sound, sound blasted pipe is his Viking. You see it's perfectly blasted. There is no single cut. Anything else to mumble? It's definitely a great pipe. It's also not filtered a little bit long here but this is one of the things I like about Paul's work the end piece of the stem is perfectly made there is no cut no nothing inside there is an idea behind it and because this is the, the thing where it might break and it's very very solid so, not even for me, and I'm not the easiest pipe smoker. Um, my everyday pipe, as I said before in the other video, I like English stuff to smoke, mostly flakes. It's a very used pipe, you see. I took it over around too well with me. Uh, it's also a non filter pipe. It's a not so used kind of filter, but it enlarges the smoke chamber here so it is used to get some uh, colder smoke uh, it's easier to clean and I just enjoy it and um, now I also sound blast pipe it was the second pipes I smoked 
after I stopped smoking for about 15 years and it's my first Winslow pipe and this was things like here the uh, idea how to make it possible to bring some color in a dark pipe to a dark pipe is it's it's a fantastic idea it's no special pipe it's filtered as i said i also use um the Savinelli buzzer i don't use it for these pipes uh, I use the coal filters here. And now the more specialized pipes. This one is a special pipe, special for my tobacconists, specially made for his 40th anniversary of being tobacconist. Paul and the tobacconist, they are got a kind of friendship and Paul made it especially uh, for this event. There were around 40 pipes in five different shapes and I got number let me see, 16, and it's a very special thing for me because uh, I started smoking, buying my pipes at this shop and they still exist and, well, I um, won't change as long as they are in the market. The next one is also a special pipe of Paul. It's a, a nice one. Maybe you notice these rings here. It's called Olympic Flame. Like all the these special brands, they are not filtered because they're for the world market, for the European market, and only pipes he does for. Uh, the Austrian and the German markets, most of them, 90%, they have a nine millimeter filtered. And uh, so this is also a special one. And now the one, I always say she looks like Columbus ship, Santa Maria, perfectly made good craftsmanship very colorful maybe you guess who looks like this who is got a dress like this it's the harlequin yeah. it's a uh, very large ball and all my Winslow's uh, are smoked uh, I smoke my uh, flakes in it there is no other kind of uh, tobacco in these pipes and now as the last one it's the newest pipe it's not smoked now haven't got the time it's a, a typical flake pipe I don't know what flake I will smoke in it but her time will come so 
I hope you enjoyed the video. That's from me, from Vienna. See you next time. Bye-bye.